Chapter 39. You want me to what? And that's exactly how I said it. One minute, I'm dragging my exhausted self from the practice room toward the girls' locker room. The next, I'm hearing someone call out my name from down the hallway. I turn and see that it's Coach Geiger. Mel, wait a second, he says. Oh, geez, what could it be now? It's Friday night. I really don't want to hear any more bad news about anything. Yeah, coach, I say. He walks up to me. How do you feel? Weary, drained, worn out, pick one of them. Uh, fine. How's your weight? My weight, I say. That's an odd question. Okay, I guess, a few pounds under, around 111, I guess. You looked good on the mats today, he says. Looked good on the mats? Who's he kidding? I was just as distracted and sloppy as everyone else. That clinic must have been helpful, he says. Good coaches, right? Yeah, they were, I say. Great, he says. Where is he going with this? Coach Geiger takes a deep breath. Look, Mel, I'm not going to beat around the bush. It's been an awful week for us. Losing Coach Hillman has been devastating. It's hit everyone on the team hard. I'm just not sure when and how we're going to recover. I'm not worried about the last two matches of the regular season. Both teams aren't nearly as talented as we are. But the postseason, I am worried about. If we're not wrestling on all cylinders for the districts, we won't be advancing guys like your brother, Trey, and hopefully a half dozen others to the regions. We can't afford that. We need something that's going to breathe some life into this team, into this school. Why is he telling me this? Coach Geiger puts a hand on my shoulder. I'm going to hold Connor out of the Livonia match on Tuesday night so he can get an extra day of rest. That leaves a spot in the varsity lineup open. My heart starts thumping. What are you saying? I know you're certified to wrestle 106, Coach Geiger says. You'd have to cut some weight. It won't be easy, and you'll have to get yourself ready mentally. That'll be harder. But I want you to fill that spot. My throat tightens. You want me to what? I practically cough out. I want you to wrestle varsity. Varsity? I say, feeling a bit woozy. What will the guys think? I don't care what they think, he says. I'm the coach. I don't know. Coach Geiger straightens up. It's obvious he's completely unhappy with what I said. His eyebrows bend sharply. Mel, have you been with the program for two years? Yeah. And have you been to every practice this season? Yeah. And do you work your tail off like every guy in the practice room? I guess. There's no better way to honor Coach Hillman than for you to take the mat and represent Ashton at 106 pounds. Mel, I'm sure at some point during the next two seasons, assuming you keep working hard and improving, you'll wrestle varsity matches for us, maybe even become a starter by your senior year. And when the time comes for you to take the mat in an Ashton varsity singlet for the first time, it'll be nice for you and for the program. But on Tuesday night, there's an opportunity to do something truly special at the seniors' last home match, at a time when your teammates and the school needs it the most. I think I'm dizzy. Don't fall over, I tell myself. Do not fall over. Okay, coach, I say weakly. Is that a yes? My mouth opens, but nothing comes out. Well? He asks. I nod slightly. Yes. Coach Geiger seems pleased. Good decision, he says. Go home and tell your parents. I'll announce it to the team on Monday. This is going to be a big moment for you, for all of us.